You are watching the Yeti and Pirate Show. For the sophisticated bunch. Enjoy. Hi friends, it's your favorite neighborhood Yeti here. And today we're going to be reading out of the Bible. Um, so yesterday our friend was on Instagram and he asked um, all of you guys what your favorite verse was. And one of our friends, Odessa said her favorite verse was Deuteronomy 31, 6. And we looked that up and we thought that'd be a good verse to share with all of you guys. So I'm gonna read it. It says, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Um, what this is talking about, quick backstory. Moses is saying this, and he's saying it to the people of Israel. Um, Moses has been leading these people for about 40 years. They're, they're searching for the promised land, um, and they're coming out uh, on all this area where there are other people living, other nations, other kings, other armies, all the things. So they're looking for the promised land, and Moses is telling them, do not be scared of where you're going, whether or not you're walking into an area of people who follow God or people who practice other religions because God will take care of it for you and God is with you and he will never leave you and he will not forsake you. He's also really old at this point. He's 120. He knows he's going to be dying soon. And he's telling Joshua, who is going to be succeeding him, he's going to be taking care of the people of Israel. Um, he's telling Joshua this as well because Joshua was kind of someone who was a bit more fearful and he didn't have a lot of courage and he was scared to lead the people. But Moses knew that he was going to be okay because God said this to him. Um, and so this is not only to the people that Moses was leading, it's also to Joshua. It's be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them for the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. So. Uh, the Yeti and Pirate Dave have been doing some of Pirate Dave's homework and we've been learning a little bit about some primates and monkeys and I was thinking about this and this verse <laughs> works for what we call a proboscis monkey. Um, they're the monkeys with the really weird giant noses. Uh, so these monkeys live primarily in trees. Um, they're pretty big. They're really lanky. They live in these trees and they live in an area of the jungle where once they've depleted a tree of food, they have to go and find other trees to eat from. But in the area of the jungle that they live in, there's these rivers that are just swimming with different snakes and mainly alligators. And um, I don't know if you guys know this, but we learned that no monkeys can swim except for the proboscis monkey. They're the only ones that can swim. And instead of being scared, these monkeys will climb up on the top of the tree and jump as far into the river as they can. And most of the time with no fear, they just jump as far as they can. And God gave them webbed like hands, webbed hands and feet, so they can swim so well. So not only are they the only monkeys that can swim, they're proficient in it, they're good swimmers. And they're so fearless that they will sometimes hold their babies on them in on the front or on their back when they jump into the rivers and swim to get to the other side so that they can feed their young as well. So they know that alligators are in the water and they still do it because I'm gonna assume they know that God gave them this ability to cross this river and make it to the other side so that they can eat and feed their families. So if we compare that to the verse um, and what we just talked about, if we say that we're the monkeys, which some leaders might be some monkeys today, but if we say we're the monkeys and the nations that Moses is telling people and God's telling Moses to tell his people to not be scared of are the alligators in this river, these monkeys are jumping into that river fearless and they're going where they know they need to go. And we need to live our lives the way God tells us to, but also maybe like these monkeys. We don't really know exactly what God wants us to do right now, but we can be strong and courageous, not have fear in our hearts right now because we know God is with us and he will never forsake us. So keep that word in your hearts today, friends. I know that 
we all feel alone right now, but we are not. We are all together. This is making our community so much stronger. We're finding so many ways and it warms my heart to see all you guys find ways to love on each other. So keep doing it. I love you guys. I miss you guys. And Pirate Dave misses you and he might pop in to teach you how to draw something pretty fun, fearless and special. Ah, my friends. Did someone say Pirate Dave? What's up dorks? Axel here. Uh I mean, what's up, Scallywags? Pirate Dave here, and today I'm gonna teach you how to draw a cool little monkey that's pretty fearless. So what you're gonna need, if you're a true Scallywag, is some paper, and you're gonna need a pen. So are we ready, Yeti? Yep. Let's do it. All right, Scallywags, we're gonna draw a proboscis monkey. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna give it a big old head right here. That's gonna be his hair. And then he has this huge nose because that's what they're pretty much known for. And I get a little bit of lips. And here's his eyeball. Pretty spooky so far. And then I'm gonna draw his body. His tummy goes out like this. Here's his arm and he's doing a big old leap. I'm gonna give him a little bit more hair. And then he's got his other arm in the background coming. And he's got his legs jumping, making that leap of faith, baby. He's got another leg because he's doing the jump. And you know, if you have one leg, you can't really jump. And then he's got a really long tail jumping in. And now for the most fun part, Remember we talked about how they always have babies on them sometimes? Well, I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna draw my friend. My friend. Get ready, get ready, get ready. My friend. Jody. Jody is the proboscis baby today. And that's her on the back, just flying in the wind. We're gonna give her some cool pants. And she really likes to wear some uh, cool Gucci slips. So we're gonna give her those as well. All right, and now I'm gonna color it. So, proboscis monkeys are a little bit uh, brown, a little bit orange, and a little bit tan, or peach color, I guess you can say. So I'm gonna color him in. And remember, <laughs> remember, friends, Jesus loves you. Bye, everyone. <laughs>